Dum, 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 dum. Look at my feet, they are so huge. <laughs> Giant 14 size. There, 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 there. My feet, I'm like a giraffe. Oh, oh. Hello, I'm Bruce Shaney, and if you're wondering what happened to me, I'm playing around with a funhouse mirror. Uh, it's <laughs> a lot of fun, actually. Uh, let's take a closer look. Now this is what the piece looks like. It's a four foot tall acrylic mirror that's 18 inches wide and it's supported in this wooden box. The frame of the box is going to allow for several adjustments. Now here's my first attempt at making this mirror. Originally I used glass, which was cheap and flexible, but it wasn't quite flexible enough and when I stressed it just a little bit too much, it broke right across here. Now what's nice about using this acrylic mirror is that it's very flexible. I can bend it however I want to. I could change it into a concave mirror, I can make it into a convex mirror, or I can make it a combination concave, concave, and convex. On closer inspection, we'll find several sets of holes that have been drilled into the sides of the frame. These holes are going to accommodate two sets of pegs that I have, either long pegs or short pegs, and these pegs fit into these holes very snugly and are held there by friction. On the back side of the mirror, I can use a combination of the long pegs and the short pegs to hold the mirror in place. But on the front side, I usually use just the short pegs because the long pegs would interfere with reflection. Now at the moment, I have it bent so that it's a concave shape at the top and a convex shape mirror at the bottom. My students found this piece to be very entertaining. Now if I want to make this into a concave mirror, I need the top and the bottom of the mirror at the very front of the box, so I'm going to put this bar in the first position. I'd also do this for the bottom of the box, and then I'm simply going to push on the center of the mirror and hold it in place, and then put the short pegs so that it's supporting the mirror back as far as it can go. And there's my concave mirror. Now if I want to change this into a convex mirror, I need the bottom and the top of the mirror at the very back of the box. So I'm going to use the pegs to hold it there and put two up here at the top. There we go. And I'm simply going to push on the center of the mirror and then I'm going to use one of the long bars to hold it in place. So there we have our convex mirror.
We can even bend the mirror from side to side. <laughs> Hello, I'm Bruce here. Today I'm playing around with a Hello, I'm Bruce Shaney. Today I'm playing around with a funhouse mirror. Yes, they are a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> let's take a closer look. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bruce Shaney. Today I'm playing around with a funhouse mirror. Yes, they are a lot of fun. Uh, there's some good science here, uh, but <laughs> uh, let's just take a closer look. 